So guys, welcome back to another video. In this one today, we're going to be trying out one of the brand new League 1 League SBC rewards. Um, guys, if you could leave a like rating on this video, that would be greatly appreciated because I've just spent a lot of coins to complete this SBC and um, both of the rewards, if they were informs on the market, would probably be discard. So uh, yeah, I feel like I've just lost a bunch of coins, but hopefully you guys enjoy this video nonetheless. In this video, we're going to be trying out the 84 rated Mount Leader and uh, hopefully Hopefully he's going to be decent because like I said I've spent a lot of coins on him. If you want to see the packs that I got for completing this SBC then stick around till the end. I'm going to show them towards the end after the gameplay so look out for that. Um, and yeah that's pretty much all there is to say. Before we get into the review in the comments below I do want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on the League 1 SBC? Your thoughts on the price and the player rewards? Let me know all that good stuff. In the comment section and um, if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe we do uh, plenty of content like this regularly so uh, if you like this kind of thing then hit that big red subscribe button and also give that notification bell a click as well and that way you'll be notified every time I upload and one more thing don't forget to check out one football they're currently sponsoring the channel and uh, their app is completely free to download and it will help you keep up to date with the latest news in football there's a link to download it in the description anyway we've rambled on for long enough so let's actually get into things shall we this is the team I'm going to be using Using uh, this Mal leader guy in, um, this is pretty much my weekend league team. Aside from um, Abamyang and Sane have been replaced by Lacazette and uh, Mal leader. I hope I'm getting his name right. By the way, anyway, let's have a look at this item then, shall we? So uh, it's got 92 pace and 88 dribbling. Those are definitely the two standout attributes on the card. The guy stands at six foot tall, has medium low air crits and a four star weak foot and four star skills. On paper, this card doesn't look terrible, but it just doesn't look worth the uh, cost that it um, currently is. Um, anyway, in-game stats, what do we have? So, in the shooting section, this card has 85 attack position, 83 finishing, and 82 shot power. On top of that, he's also got 82 composure. Inside the box, his finishing, in theory, should be alright. In theory, anyway. Um, Passing-wise, he's got a pretty poor crossing stat for a winger of just 69, but pretty good short passing of 85. Over in the dribbling department, we've got some pretty nice attributes. This item has a 91 rating for agility, 90 in-game dribbling, 85 ball control and 88 balance. He's got a pretty average reaction stat though of 75. Finally, over in the physical department, we can see he's got 74 strength, very average stamina of 72 and uh, okay jumping of 75. With the guy being 6 foot and having average jumping that shouldn't be too much of an issue so he should win his fair share of aerial battles especially against fullbacks. Um, overall I've got to say I'm not totally blown away by the in-game attributes of this card but uh, some cards perform better than their stats suggest and some perform worse. Let's go find out how this guy does, let's get into some games and see how he gets on. I almost forgot to mention the chem style. We're going to apply a dead eye chem style to him because obviously his shooting and passing both could do with a bit of a boost. Okay, up first for the Frenchman, we come up against a pretty average Syria side. It's barely obvious that this guy is going for the objective, so that's definitely something to bear in mind. But um, hopefully, against this much lesser team, um, Maulida can shine. Like I said, plays out wide to Maulida. Can he beat Florenzi for pace? Don't know if he'll beat him for strength, but he's doing well to hold him off. Tries to spin round to get back inside, but Florenzi does well to get back at him, but Maulida has drawn a foul. Nice tackle there. Walcott finds Sissoko. Sissoko tries to slide it through for Maulida, who puts the ball inside, and Lacazette gets himself a tap in. Good start with the French attack linking up very nicely. Finds the Frenchman, who's going to link up now with Lacazette, who returns the ball nicely. Nice first touch. Can he finish? Oh, straight to the keeper. Second attempt. Third attempt. Oh, we've got a penalty. <laughs> I not mind, but I was aiming that shot to the far side of the goal and it was still just going straight at the keeper. Okay, penalty. Let's fake right. Let's fake right and go left. Oh, lucky there. Lucky. I almost pulled it wide. Here's a chance. Here's Lacazette. My leader flicks the ball over to the defender and then left-footed strike. Chance to break now. And Dombele puts the ball out. Oh, not the best pass inside there from the winger. Sizoka plays the ball out wide to the winger. He's going to take on Florenzi. Oh, referee, I was through there. Why would you blow for half time? Um, anyway, as you've just seen, it is now half time. We are two goals up. First goal was nicely worked, but uh, the second goal, obviously, we got a bit lucky with the penalty. In the second half, we are going to switch things up. We're going to change formation. We're going to go for the 4 2 3 1, and we're going to get this guy in a bit more of a central role just to see uh, what more he has to offer. Brings the ball forward, puts it out wide for Maulida. 
Who's looking pretty tired right now. How's the cross into the box? Right footed cross. It's a good one. And Samedo. Oh, wow. What a save from the keeper. Samedo out of nowhere. And the keeper's just pulled out an incredible save. Okay, a chance to break now. Might be the last chance in the game. Can Maulida get through? No, sadly not. And there's the full-time whistle. Sadly, the game has actually ended in a 2-2 draw. And um, pretty much a game of two halves. In the first half, it was mine. And the second half, it was his. So, uh, a bit annoyed to have uh, thrown away a 2-0 lead. But uh, that's how it goes in FIFA. I still can't believe the save that his keeper made. That was incredible. But uh, nonetheless, um, game one ends in a 2-2 draw. But um, my, my leader got himself a goal and an assist. So not a bad debut for the young Frenchman. In the next match, we come up against a much stronger side. It's a full Premier League outfit, which features Roberto Firmino, Christian Eriksen, Marcus Rashford and Edison in net. Here's the winger. Can he open up some space for a cross? We're going to whip it in on that right foot. It's not a bad cross either, but Walcott sadly... Is not going to be Joe Gomez in the air. Lacazette, fan Sissoko. Sissoko chips out wide. And here's a chance now. Can we get the shot away with the left foot? We can, but the keeper pulls off a good stop. A chance to break now. End on Belair. Gets out to Maulida. He's going to get around Yedlin with a good bit of pace. Going to try and come inside here, but Rudiger gets a cross in time. Sissoko puts the ball out wide to Maulida, who's got a chance now. Takes it round one. Puts the ball inside. Oh, just not enough on the pass. That's my fault though, I should have drilled the cross instead of going for a through ball. So the whistle's just blown for half time, it's been a pretty even first half, but I do feel like there is going to be some goals in this game and hopefully we can get them in the second half. Um, for the second half, we're once again going to change to the 4-3-2-1 to uh, get this guy in a bit more of a central role. His work rates are annoying me a bit, he doesn't get involved in attacks as much as other attackers due to his medium low work rates, but uh, hopefully with the position change we can get him on the ball a bit more. Now we've got a chance to attack down this right edge. Tezuka really isn't the player that I want on the wing, if I'm being honest. But we found Maulida in the box. Oh, he's gone down. That'll be a penalty. He's going to... Oh, it's going to be saved. I meant to pull it left. I'm so bad at penalties this year. Obviously, that's not the player's fault. That is completely mine. <laughs> what a weird goal I've just scored. FIFA 20, right? FIFA 20. In a nutshell. Lacazette links up with Maulida. Lacazette plays the ball back through. Maulida. Oh, the first touch just let him down. I was trying to pass it back inside to Lacazette. And now we could have a chance to attack. Oh, Walcott has found the Frenchman. Left footed strike. Oh, he's gone to straight the keeper again. And there's the full time whistle for game number two. It ends in a 1 1 draw. Um, yeah, I really don't have too much to say about that performance, to be honest. I didn't play that great in that match, but um, I'm still a bit annoyed not to have come away with the maximum points from that fixture. I also didn't think uh, my leader covered himself in glory in that game. I know a couple of the shots that he took were my error, but some of them I also feel like the player could have done better too. Nonetheless, let's get into another game. Our opponent in game number three has a team which features a bunch of special cards, and as you can tell right now, I'm losing my voice, so hopefully we can get through this game quickly. Now leader opens up a bit of space with a bit of a spin, but after pulling it off, he just takes this massive touch and Chiellini dispossesses him with ease. Our leader skips past one, left foot across into the box is sadly blocked by the lift. So at the break, the score is nil-nil. Once again, not being the most eventful first half, but uh, hopefully in the second, things can open up a bit and we can see some goals. Here he is, Mao leader on the ball, gets through a gap really well. Can he score? Yes, he can. Really nice finish. And there's the full-time whistle. We record ourselves a 1-0 win in this game thanks to a goal from Mr. Uh, Mao leader. And I actually thought he was decent in that match as well. So, yeah, not too bad. Overall, though, I'm not massively impressed with this card, but I'll talk about that more in the summary in a moment. Okay, so while I give my verdict verbally on this item, in the background, I'm going to show you guys the packs that I got for completing the League 1 SBC. Now, bear in mind, the uh, overall cost of this SBC is around 200k, so uh, yeah, we've got a lot of coins to try and make up. Anyway, what are my thoughts on this 83 rated Maulida item? Um... It's it's an alright card, but is it amazing? No. Is it terrible? No. It's just like, it's just average to be honest. Um, it's definitely usable in rivals, but I, I wouldn't use it in a foot champs. In game, obviously I've got no complaints about the pace. He is pretty quick and he can break away if given the opportunity to do so. His shooting is pretty average, even with the dead eye chem style applied. I didn't think his shooting was anything too special, and uh, he just wasn't that reliable in front of goal. Now, don't get me wrong, he can finish, and his stats for finishing for a winger aren't terrible, but uh, he's definitely just not reliable in front of goal, especially compared to other wingers I have used 
this FIFA. And positionally, I got a bit frustrated with this card as well, which was a bit annoying because his attack position stat is actually one of the best things about him. But I think it's his work rates that hold him back. He's got medium low work rates, and sometimes he doesn't get involved in attacks unless you force him forward. And obviously, that can be quite frustrating too. Um, passing wise, how was he? To be honest, I didn't think his passing was terrible. Um, his crossing in game was actually much better than I expected it to be after seeing the 69 crossing rating on his card. Um, I actually thought his crossing was alright, especially off of his right foot. His shot passing was okay too, but his through balls were um, a bit hit and miss. His dribbling is one of the better things about him. He's got really good agility and balance, and he is relatively fun to run with when in possession of the ball, but occasionally he can take a bit of a heavy touch, which can be quite frustrating. He's definitely one of them players who, when under pressure, they do come a bit unstuck. Despite having um, pretty all right composure, when under pressure, this guy can seem to crack. But uh, nonetheless, when, when in space, um, he is pretty fun to have on the ball. Physically, um, I wasn't too disappointed with this card, to be honest. He's got decent strength for a pacey winger, to be honest, and uh, he can hold up possession rather well. But um, when he's in 1v1 duels when running, he does normally come out on the losing end because uh, his aggression isn't the best, so he's not going to battle too hard for the ball. His stamina of 72 obviously isn't great, but uh, to be honest, I didn't have a massive issue with that. Saying that, if I was to go into extra time in something like foot champs, I probably would sub him off. Aerially, I thought the guy was alright. He won a few headers, but uh, his head and accuracy wasn't the best in-game, I didn't feel. Overall then, what is my verdict on this card? Um, to be honest, it's pretty average. It's a, it's a pretty average item, and in my opinion, it doesn't perform like an 84 rated item should. It just, um, it just doesn't. And considering this item uh, costs around 200k to get, I really don't think it is worth picking up. So, uh, yeah, definitely something to bear in mind. I think something you've got to consider is, if this card was on the market, how much would it cost? Would it cost anywhere near 200k? I don't think so. I don't think it would come close. In the comment section down below, let me know how much do you think this card would cost if it was on the Ultimate Team Market. Anyway guys, you've now heard my thoughts on the 84 rated League SBC Malida item. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do leave a like rating on it. In the comment section down below, let me know if you've got any questions about this item or the SBC. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.